Hello everyone and welcome to The Art of Teaching Art. Today I'm going to show you how to approach designing a skull themed painting inspired by Day of the Dead and Thanelia McArdle. We are working on a smaller scale so this is one of my painting designs and what I'm aiming to do is design the main skull in the centre and then a pattern and design around the skull. So straight away we have a simple composition so remember, composition is how things are arranged on the page or within a piece of artwork. So we've got the skull placed in a central position and then we have things that we can add around the outside. So first of all, I'm going to think about the skull design. So for the skull, I'm going to be inspired by sugar skulls that I've got examples of here, as well as some artwork pieces that I found on the internet here. I would like to add some flowers and touches to it, but not quite as 3D as this, more inspired by this piece of artwork, which is done by Thanelia McArdle. So the best way to approach this is to have a look at your inspiration images. If you haven't got inspiration images, this would be a good point for you to go and collect some. And what you notice about sugar skulls is on the whole, they are symmetrical. So that means any pattern that you draw on one side, you will need to draw on the other side of the skull. Now, of course, you can change this if you want to, but actually I really like the symmetrical look, so I would go ahead and stay with that. So for this design here, I've been inspired by a lot of these that have flowers in the eye socket and inspired by this one that has the flower petals around the outside. I've also placed a flower on the chin of my design, which is inspired by this one just here. And I've almost kind of drawn a crown type design on the forehead, which I was inspired by this piece here with this design coming up and then I could add some additional details. So when you're looking at adding your details, you want to use a pencil, work nice and slowly, focus on the details that you really want to add. If you don't want to add so much detail, think about drawing some things bigger and also just be really inspired by the things that you see. For the background of the painting, I want to be inspired by this artist, which is Thania McArdle, and she uses really bright colours across her paintings and lots of pattern and design. Quite often, those are symmetrical, but not always. Sometimes they do feature elements, such as this one, around the background that are different on each side. Now, as I stated before, I love for things to be symmetrical, so I have gone for a symmetrical design. So I've placed circles with flowers at either ends, with vines coming upwards. You've also got a circle flower image on either side and circles with flowers in placed in the four corners. This is very much inspired by Thania Mercado. So we've got the flowers in the four corners inspired by this one and then the kind of overlapping vine shapes that are coming up here, inspired by this one here. I also took inspiration for placing the flowers in the circles from this one and some shapes from this one. So it's really important that you look at all of your inspiration images before you deciding on your design. Look at what has been done before and then pick out some ideas. Now it might be that you want to feature some other things in your painting. So Thania McArdle features birds and owls, you've got mushrooms, you've got lots of different flowers. You could also maybe feature patterns and other food items. She's got some works which feature butterflies and feathers as well. So there's lots of different things that are inspiration that you could feature. If you're looking more at sugar skulls, you could think of using stars and flowers and swirls, dollar signs, all of the things listed just here for your design. So you've got two opportunities on this sheet to design different paintings. So think first about your skull, then add in your background, and then if you've got time, you can add some lovely color. Thank you so much for watching and have a really great day.